Good morning. Let's start with a dot moving in the y direction in simple harmonic motion, just like a vertical mass spring system. Flippin' physics. If we set the dot in motion at a constant velocity to the right, Bo, what sort of function does that create? That looks just like a sine curve. Correct, Bo. The y position of a dot moving in simple harmonic motion, like this, creates a sine curve. Now let's add a dot moving in the x direction in simple harmonic motion, this time just like a horizontal mass spring system. If we set the dot in motion at a constant velocity down, Billy, what sort of function does that create? Uh, I think it's still a sine curve, right? Actually, no. The dot starts at its maximum value, so it actually it's actually a cosine curve. Right, cosine. It's a cosine curve because it starts at its maximum values. Thanks. Correct, Bobby. The curve created by the dot moving in simple harmonic motion in the x direction like this is a cosine curve. Now, I actually want to display both curves on the same axis. So let's rotate the cosine curve 90 degrees to put it on the same axis as the sine curve. Oh yeah, the sine and cosine curves have the same shape. It's just they are shifted from one another by 90 degrees, pi over two radians, or one fourth of a revolution along the horizontal axis. Let's go back to looking at the dots on the left and add lines to indicate where the intersection of these motions occur. Can anybody tell me what the shape of the intersection of those lines creates as a function of time. It's a circle. Wow, it is a circle. Wait a minute. Wait. When you combine the motions described by a sine and cosine curve like that, you get a circle? Yep. That is correct. That means if you combine simple harmonic motion in the x direction with simple harmonic motion in the y direction like we have done here, you get circular motion. This is just like the circular motion of this marker cap moving at a constant angular velocity on this turntable. I like that. Oh, cool. Sure. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.